Good evening. Today is December 11, 2011. It's just after 6.30. We're here at Goulart Square at Ashley Park. We're just uh, looking right now at some beautifully decorated windows, art and gold, just to my, uh, to my uh, that would be the west. Then Fernando's uh, Cafe, which just opened again. We're very, very excited about that. Then we have uh, Goulart Square Bakery by the new Goulart Square Monument, which is absolutely beautiful. And then Almeida's True Value. And then behind us, we have the, the uh, Goulart Square Warming House and behind that, Ashley Park. And just over our shoulder, we have Mount Carmel and then we also have uh, uh, Duvall's, Duvall's uh, Elementary School. So we're here right smack in the middle of the south end. We have an awful lot of public servants with us tonight for our tree lighting. And it's a special tree lighting because, uh, as you recall, back in 2008, uh, we all planted this, uh, this beautiful Christmas tree here in memory of Leo Pimentel, who was the city council president uh, who passed away. Uh, so we're doing this tonight in spirit of uh, all the, all the uh, holidays that are being celebrated in the city and also uh, to uh, memorialize Leo and all the work that he did in our city. And we have Mrs. Pimentel here in the family, and we're always honored when Mrs. Pimentel is here. Now, I want to uh, start by saying we're going to have a, uh, a tree lighting. We're going to sing some carols. George Ladino is here. He is going to uh, lead us in some Christmas carols. We also have with us today uh, Steve Pont, who's the head of the Goulart Square Neighborhood Association. Many, many other individuals who are head of neighborhood associations throughout the city are coming to each of the tree lightings, which is a lot of fun, and in an awful lot of uh, young kids here to meet Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And this is the real, we, I know we had yesterday 1,200 Santas on loan in the city, but we have the real Mr. and Mrs. Claus here tonight for this uh, great tree lighting. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is just say uh, t two very quick things. First, the holidays are about the families and being involved with our families. They're about our, uh, our kids and watching our kids, our grandkids, uh, enjoy the magic of, these, uh, of the holiday season and the magic of Christmas or the magic of Hanukkah or Three Kings Day or Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you believe. Uh, the fact is, though, uh, that we are still uh, a nation that has young men and women from New Bedford, from our country, uh, overseas during this holiday season uh, fighting to preserve democracy. Please think of them in your prayers as well as their families. Now, the first person I'd like to turn the mic over tonight is our city council president, Brian Gomes. Brian? Thank you very much, Mayor. It's a, a distinct pleasure to be here this evening. You know, Christmas is a magical time, and it's, uh, it should be uh, something that's in our hearts to try to make magic for others. My words at every tree lighting ceremony that I've been to this year has been a simple one. If it's in your power to do something for someone less fortunate, try to do that. If, there's, if that, you can't do that, and it doesn't have to be materialistic, let me tell you something, bring a little love in your heart. Bring a little love to your neighborhood, to your home, to your community, because this city needs a little love, and a little love keeps us all together. And I, I think Santa Claus would have liked it that way. Love for the kids, love for our neighbors, love for the city as a whole. So that's my message to the city. I thank you for the opportunity to be here. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Three Kings Day, all of them that go along with the season that we're in, to all of you, and thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, Brian. Thanks very much, Brian. I appreciate that. Important message. Now, the next person I'd like to call is uh, the counselor from this ward. And we have a very, very uh, uh, important program tonight because we have uh, public servants who really know this ward uh, as well as any public servant in the country knows the constituents that they serve. And the first one now that I'd like to introduce is Joe Lopes, about to enter his uh, second term now as uh, city councilor from Ward 6. And Joe, please, for a few words. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's an honor to be here with everyone's families. And as the mayor pointed out, it's even more special with this tree lighting, because this, this is a real family tree lighting for Mrs. Mental and her family, as we remember, you know, Leo. And Leo will remember every year at this time of year, and every year and everyone thinks of the holiday season and coming to Ashley Park. From my family to yours, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Three Kings Day, and Happy New Year's. Thank you, and uh, looking forward to seeing Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus again today. Thank you, Joe, very much. <laughs> now we have, from the standpoint of, of longevity, continuous <laughs> service in this particular uh, legislative district, we have Representative Tony Cabral, who is here tonight. Uh, Tony is, is uh, uh, involved now in his third decade in representing uh, the south end of the city, and uh, I want to thank Tony for all his service 
and ask him to say uh, a few words to the people of the city. Thank you, Mayor Lang. It's uh, wonderful to be here. Uh, this is in the heart of the South End. This is a wonderful neighborhood, uh, Gulat Square, that everybody knows here in the South End. It's, uh, it's a place that everybody comes by and loves and appreciates the spark. Uh, we are here uh, to uh, light up the tree. The tree is a very special one in this particular park, in this particular association, is in memory of uh, Leo Pimentel, the Ward 6, the former Ward 6 Council that passed away at the time, Council President. Mrs. Pimentel is here, the whole family is here. My wife, my daughter is here. My daughter is a little afraid of Santa Claus still, but hopefully next year she won't. Uh, and uh, as you know, you know, this is a very special time as, uh, uh, as Brian Gomes, the City Council President mentioned, it is about magic, it is about kids, it is about family, it is about really dreams. And, and uh, this is where kids can dream and, and can ask Santa to bring what they like. So it's really a very special time of the year. It's a very special time for me and for my family as well. So from you and my family to all of you and to all of those here uh, that are celebrating here with us at Ashley Park, um, happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you, Tony, very much. Thank you. Now I'm going to ask Steve Pont to come up say a few words on behalf of the Goulart Square Neighborhood Association. I also want to acknowledge that we have the Chief of Police here tonight, David Preventure. Really appreciate all that he does year-round leading the police department and all of our police officers, firefighters, our city employees, and our emergency uh, preparedness. Uh, Mark McCormick is or Mark uh, Mark McCormick is here tonight. Mahoney. Mark Mahoney is here tonight. I'm sorry, Mark Mahoney is here tonight. I'm mixing two different uh, two different names there. Mark Mahoney is here tonight, who's done so much work uh, in not only things like tree lightings, but also through the hurricanes, through uh, the storms that we've had over the last uh, uh, three terms. I really appreciate his help as well. So I want to turn it over to Steve Pont now and uh, thank him again for gathering us, Steve. Thanks, Mayor. Thanks, Councilors, Reps. Uh, I want to thank everybody coming to our neighborhood to uh, help us light uh, Leo Tree again this year and wish everybody a happy uh, and healthy uh, holidays from all of us at Goulart Square. Thank you. And then, thank you very much, Steve. I also want to thank the outreach group who's here today. Our, our outreach work workers are here tonight with uh, the chief. We really appreciate them, them and all the work that they do here in the South End. Now, George Ladina is going to lead us in some, some uh, Christmas carols, and I, I think I'm going to turn the mic over to George to tell us exactly what he would like us to, uh, to sing. We have a program book here that's uh, put together by the Neighborhood Association, and it's uh, got a number of different uh, Christmas carols in it, and we're going to uh, take our best attempt at it. So, George? Thank you very much, Mayor. We'd like to do a little singing here for Christmas, and the first one will be Jingle Bells. So I hope everybody chimes in and does a little singing. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, all the fields we go, driving on the way, bells on what they're free, making music cry. What fun it is to ride and sing and sway so tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! hey. I know all the kids would like to sing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. That's their favorite song, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it goes. All of the other reindeer. Used to laugh and call him names. They never let old Rudolph play with any reindeer game. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, 
Won't you guide my sway tonight? Then all the wind is locked in. And the child of the green. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. You took out the history. One more song. Uh, what, what do we want to sing? Yeah, White Christmas. All right. White Christmas. Uh, <laughs> no more snow. No more snow. Okay, let's start with. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, White Christmas. Oh, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones I used to know, where the tree tops glisten and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be wise. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. A Merry Christmas. A Happy New Year to all the people in the city of New Bedford. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, George, each, each Christmas tree lighting is, uh, is different throughout the city. And we bring together people from all different faiths for these lightings. But several years ago, George said that he would like the Goulart Square lighting to be a little bit different in that we sing carols together. And uh, we now have uh, printed books. George leads us, and it's a great thing. So I want to thank you, George, very much. Gets us all into the spirit of the holidays. Thank you very much. Now, I want to call Mark Mahoney up here. Mark, come up here, please. Come up here. Now, I, I just, I just uh, mixed three names here. I want you to see the face of the fellow that is involved uh, day in, day out in making sure that we're able to meet any, any kind of emergency head on. And I'd like him to uh, convey his wishes for the city. He's got, he's got his uh, microphone going here, his walkie-talkie. Does an awful lot of work day in, day out. Has a great crew. And I want you to see uh, face behind the name, Mark Mahoney. Mark, you want to say a few things, please? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just to reiterate what everybody's said previously, hope everybody has a happy, safe uh, Christmas, holiday season, and uh, safe and successful New Year's. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what we're going to do, we need a lot of help because there's no way that this tree lights unless the young boys and girls call off the countdown. If we did it as adults, it won't light. It'll only light with the children calling off the numbers. So we're going to start at 10 and only the children are going to count. Ready, children? 10. Santa and Mrs. Claus are going to meet all the children. Tell them what you uh, were hoping for for the holidays. Also, let them know how good you've been. Let them know how hard you've studied. Let them know what great little boys and girls you are. So I want to thank the Goulart Square Neighborhood Association, everyone involved in this. Again, want to uh, uh, say uh, uh, thank you very much to Mrs. Pimentel and her family. And uh, we hope to see you now. The next tree lighting is tomorrow night. It is down uh, at Monte Park at uh, 6 o'clock, and we hope to see you all there. I know uh, we'll all be there, and we certainly hope to see you. If you can't make it, every one of the tree lightings will be on TV in a montage, so you'll be able to see all the different cheer and goodwill throughout the city. So thank you very much.
Bedford.